What's up guys, Express here and I'm back with another tutorial. Now this time we have another advertisement. But for this advertisement we have a G Fuel type advertisement that I really like that I designed myself and I thought why not make a tutorial out of it. Before this video starts I have a little disclaimer. This video was all recorded in 720p so it, if it looks a bit, you know, not that great, um, that's my fault. I'm sorry about that. Next time I'll do it in 1080. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned for something from this. And if you have any recommendations on a tutorial that you want me to do, let me know in the comments down below. Let's just jump into it. So the first thing you want to do is of course find yourself a nice render of a G Fuel tub or uh, can, whatever. I found a perfect um, pack for this. I'll put a link in the description of course. It's the Nathan 500 pack. Uh, Nathan is a uh, is a designer as well. Um, I found him on uh, Twitter and he hit 500 followers and he released this pack. I'll put this in the description as well so you can download this as, for yourself as well. So go check it out. It's one of the best uh, packs for G Fuel that I've found in a while. The Black Berry one. There you go. I'm taking that. Just drag that over to your um, to your workstation or to your new file. The file size is just, an, um, just a normal A4 print size. Start with a blank background. You want to fill that in with of course a color of your preference. So this scan is black and red so you either take red or black and this specific ID I'll probably take uh, a black. Let me see how that looks. There you go. I think that looks better. I'm going to turn it a bit around and make it a bit bigger as well and put it in the middle of course. And if you can see the light is hitting from the right and the dark side is coming from the left. So I'm maybe going to change the color to a more um, lighter grayish, something like this. So if you hit it with a um, normal brush, you can see shadow. So make a new layer, take a brush, make it a bit smaller. How I made that small is holding an alt and right, right mouse button and just dragging to the left and to the right. If you're going up and down, it's the hardness of the brush. But yeah, and if you go to the left and to the right, it's the size. So yeah, just make a standard black color just pick a standard black color and uh, brush in the sides like so and you can already see there's a bit of shadow i'm just going to lower the opacity a bit okay i'm just going to erase uh, the right side because you can really can clearly tell that the light is coming from the right a new layer and go again to the brushes and take your uh, white color you want to make a brush pretty big around 2500 and just have a dab to the right you can see that the and uh, that there's light coming from the right so i'm going to do that again and again and maybe go and lower the opacity to something like that okay then what I want to do is make a new layer above the can uh, put a clipping mask on top of the can and also have a normal dab of white there okay what I want to make another new layer also make a clipping mask by making how to make clipping mask is just pressing alt and then you have a clipping mask then you go above the layer that you want a clipping mask and then pressing alt and just left click your mouse button that's that easy so I'm gonna take the brush again but take the black color and just color in the left side like so all of them lower the opacity a bit like so I can always see the difference like there that the light is really coming from the right side as well so make a new layer another clipping mask so hold an alt and take the red spice up the red a bit and just color in some parts of the can put that on a um, screen and lower the opacity around a 20 or maybe even lower like a 10 like it has this red kind of look to it but it's not too vibrant as well that's what you want okay and now we're going to start working with the background the background is very easy um because this uh, g fuel circle in the middle then i want to put some circles everywhere and you know it fits the theme in my opinion um black on blackberry yeah just what i did is make a, made a new layer go to this elliptic tool holding in shift and alt and made a normal circle I filled that in with the color of the can so that's a, that that red color so choose that I fill that in with a alt backspace or just with a, a simple bucket tool you can fill that in easily I'm going to put that behind the can but in front of the light and the shadow so I'm going to put them on the random spots it doesn't really matter just try to look what looks uh, good and what doesn't look good I'm just gonna uh, maybe try to do the same thing that I did in the preview I'm going to control J that so we have a duplicate of that circle. I'm going to make it a bit bigger by hitting control T and then holding an alt so the circle stays nicely. So I'm going to put that in the left corner. I'm going to control J that again, control T 
I'm gonna put one here as well, a bit smaller behind the cam. I'm gonna control J that again, control T that again. I'm gonna make a little small one and we're gonna put that uh, on top. So I'm gonna duplicate that again, control T. I'm gonna move that on the bottom of the cam like so. And that's it with the red um, circles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna merge all these circles together with a simple control E. There you go. I'm gonna make a new layer and then another clipping mask on top of the circles. So you wanna hit Alt above the circles and then just left click with your mouse button. It's that easy. Then what you wanna do is take a darker red color. So something like that. Take your brush and color in the sides like so. And do that as well on the little circles. Just color in the left side because the left side is the dark side of the whole project. So just color in the sides of the circles like so. There you go. Load the opacity a bit like so. Make another new layer and also a clipping mask. And then you take a white. And what you want to do with the white is like the same thing that I do it with the black, but at the other side. So you want to just color in the right side with a bit of white like so it's a bit much like so and then also this one like so make the brush a bit smaller color that in take the brush okay like so and what you want to do with that is maybe put that on a soft light or you can put that on the screen and lower the opacity like so and then you can clearly see that there's light coming from the right and also it hits the circles so what I did then is just adding some more circles, but with a, just a stroke. So take your ellip elliptic tool again, holding in shift, holding in alt, and just make a simple circle. And what color you want is, it's a bit hard because the canvas has only two colors. It's either a black or a red. So we're gonna take white. So you're just gonna fill that in with a simple white color. I'm gonna make that a lot smaller and I'm gonna put that behind everything we just did. Maybe not, hmm. Yeah, maybe like so. I'm gonna put that right there, maybe a bit smaller, like so. I'm gonna duplicate that, okay? And we are going to move that all the way to here. And we're going to maybe change that layer. I'm going to put that above the other one. I'm gonna make them a bit smaller, maybe, because I don't wanna take too much attention, okay? Then I'm gonna copy them again. I'm going to put one another smaller one um, in the left like so maybe like right there hmm. or maybe just like right there okay and what you want to do then is make another new layer another circle we're gonna add another circle but this time we're gonna fill that in alt backspace double click on that fill opacity I'll move all the way to zero put a stroke on that or just a white stroke on the inside maybe a 13 or a 10 and we're going also put that on random spots we'll make it a bit smaller like so okay control j that control t that also gonna make it a bit smaller like so okay control j that control t that make it a bit smaller as well hmm, does that fit and if it doesn't fit, you can look for positions where it will fit. Okay, like so. Now we have enough circles, circles in my opinion. And what you wanna do is go to the red circles that you made. Control J, it with the clipping masks, of course. There's Control J and then Control E, so they're all together. And what you wanna do is go to Filter, Distort, and go to Twirl. And you can see, the, if you zoom out a bit, what will happen with your twirls. So you don't want it to put it on all the way on 99. You wanna put it on like maybe 300. Or something like that you can do the other way as well i'm going to do the other way uh, maybe like a minus 370 like so Control t and then we're going to put that or something right there and you can already see it has something to it i guess it has a little swoosh effect that uh, automatically makes with your circles so you can see the the, the same color but what we're going to do is going to hue and saturation going clipping mask on the swoosh effect there you go i'm going to change the color to something that fits uh, of course with the design we can of course try like maybe a white something like this or we can do of course a um, darker one and like maybe a black i guess we'll we'll hit it we'll stay with black because it's blackberry but i kind of like this how this looks uh now we're just going to add another circle so you're probably thinking another circle yes you're going to put that behind everything and make a circle in the middle 
So what you want to do is press Ctrl R and you have this uh, side lines that pop out. What you want to do is go to your mouse over that, click once and drag a line in the middle. It only snaps in the middle, so uh, just drag it to the middle and it snaps automatically to it. So what you want to do is try to find the middle, hold an Alt and Shift with the, with the circle tool of course, and drag it all the way to something like this. Fill that in with a simple white, like so. What you want to do is double click on that, with the opacity and put a stroke on that. Make it a bit thicker than the other one, like so. There you go. And what you want to do is duplicate that again and make it a bit smaller, like so. But this time, double click on it again, remove the stroke and put a drop shadow, a drop shadow on top of that. That you have something like this. I'm going to make it a bit more visible, like so. I'm going to put it behind the little circle. Okay, I'm going to duplicate that again, Ctrl T that again, and I'm going to make it smaller again like so i think this has a nice little like drop effect that it's on top of something and i think this looks really nice in my opinion now what we want to do now is just add some bit of text so i put in, i'm going to put the g fuel logo there as well you can find that easily in google if you want that as well just type g fuel logo png I'm going to put that on top of everything like so I'm going to move that all the way up also make it a bit smaller like so putting that there I'm going to rasterize that layer, double click on that and go to color overlay. I'm going to put that on a white so it's more readable and more visible on the advertisement. So what you want to do now is like uh, on the preview, I have like gummy on the side and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put, uh, I think maybe black or blackberry on the side. So just uh, take your, take your um, type tool and type in whatever you want. I'm going to type um, black. And then, and then what you want to do is find yourself a font that thing that you think will really fit. So I'm going to take with uh, Akira Expanded. I think that's a nice font that uses a lot. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And I'm going to, you have this VA and that's the position um, set to tracking for the select character. So this is spaces out every single uh, character, every single letter from your text. I'm going to make it a bit smaller, drag it out a bit more. And then I'm going to just Ctrl T that and move that vertical. I think that really fits and it has really like a nice look to it as well. And what I have on the previews as well, I have some random text here as well. And I think that kind of fits to the whole overall look. So what, you, what I really put there is just some information about G Fuel. If you just type G Fuel in Google, you'll come up with some and you go to Wikipedia, you have some information about G Fuel. And then we're going back in Photoshop, you want to take your type tool again and you want to click and drag so you have a little a square okay you want to make you sure your um, text size is on six you want to take a simple font so i have band shift i'm going to control v but my text is still really uh, split apart so i'm going to just put this on a zero again there you go you have this i'm going to just put g fuel energy formula and i'm going to put a space there is it caffeinated drink mix sold by gamma labs Okay, I'm gonna make it a bit smaller maybe, or a bit here. Okay, we're gonna Ctrl J that, Ctrl T that, and we're gonna move that a bit to the side. Now we're gonna do that again, Ctrl J, Ctrl T, and we'll move that a bit to the side as well. Now what I wanna do is just put something else on the other two. So I'm going back to Wikipedia, I'm going to put based in West uh, Billion, New York. Okay, we're gonna copy that, I'm going back to Photoshop, take a type tool, and we're going to remove that and put that white, like so. Okay, we want to know some different information on the other one, so we're going to back to Wikipedia. So, okay, we're going back to the typing tool, select that, Ctrl V, so there's something else there, and like so. I think this is a really nice look um, to it, uh, in my opinion. I'm going to put this a bit more in the middle, so it's, yeah. Okay, I think this has a really nice look to it. It has some information about the drink and about G Fuel, and it's just something else. That, um, so of course we have to do a camera raw filter but before that we want to do some vibrance as well so we're going to click on this little circle click on vibrance and we're going to put the saturation up and the vibrance up as well then we're going to go to brightness and contrast and we're going to put on the contrast a bit and the brightness as well so what you can do as well is put, going to hue and saturation and change the color to whatever you want but it's black blackberry so you can't really change it too much Maybe if you want to do an orange and then take your brush, make it a lot bigger and just have a little dab in the middle. Then what we're going to do, of course, is merge everything. So select the top layer, holding in shift, going all the way to the bottom layer. 
select the bottom layer then go to ctrl j and ctrl e so everything is merged everything is duplicated and merged together i want to just select that right click and layer via cut if i go too fast in this tutorial of course you can always pause and go back in the tutorial then what i want to do is i don't want to do that what I want to do is Ctrl J that, of course. I want to go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And a Camera Raw Filter is going to pop out the colors a bit. Uh, you can just follow along if you don't know how to do this. But I'm just basically uh, popping out the exposure a bit, popping out the contrast a bit and the highlights. Then I'm going to remove the whites and remove the blacks a bit. That's all I'm doing. Then I'll also put the clarity up and the texture as well. If you click on this little uh, um, square, you can see the before and after. Okay, color mixer, and you can change the color to whatever you want, but I'm not really gonna touch that, maybe on a few uh, spots. So I'm gonna merge those two, merge those three, I mean. Ctrl J that again, and we're going to filter, noise, and I'm gonna add a bit of noise. You'll see later how that looks, add a bit of noise, okay. It's just a bit of subtle noise, in my opinion, it blends everything a bit better, but you don't have to do that. I'm going to Ctrl J that again, double click the top layer, and we're going to have a little glitch effect that I really like to put on everything. So, have you seen, um, remove the G and the B and you only have the R left. Move the whole layer to the right with just with the arrow keys. Then we, what we want to do is Ctrl J, go to Filter, Blur Gallery, Iris Blur. And with Iris Blur, it automatically gets you a little circle. And we just want to make that a bit bigger and turn it a bit around like so. And then you can see how much you want to blur. And how much I want to blur really is around 10. Okay, I'm going to press OK. And then of course you can't see the text anymore. Now what you want to do is take the brush and just erase where the text is, like so. Like so. Okay. And there you have it. There you have your um, G Fuel advertisement design that I personally really like and I think it came out pretty nice. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you create something uh, similar and tag me in it because I really like to see what you guys make with my tutorials. I hope you enjoyed something. It's just something else than just a header. Um, in my opinion, I thought this was a really nice, cool uh, design that I thought may I'll show you guys. So yeah, go download this uh, G Fuel pack as well if you want to do this. Uh, if you have any other ideas for the tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. Always see what you guys want me to make uh, in the future. So I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to join the Discord because there's going to be put a challenge on there as well uh, in the near future. See you guys in the next one. Peace.